welcome back uh today we talk about message cues <coughs> sorry i'm still ill but right now i'm getting better and better so today we'll talk about message cues so uh, a message queue is a communication mechanism used in, in distributed computing and software systems for asynchronous communication between various components or modules it allows these components to send receive and process messages without needing to be in sync or actively waiting for each other message queues are essentially f are essential for building scalable reliable and uh, decoupled systems so let's let's talk about it how how it looks so we have a server one and server two so and they want to communicate with each other so they will communicate by using a message queue uh, oh, sorry they will communicate by using a message queue uh, a message queue in between so we will have like um, a producer which will produce the message and the consumer so a message queue is a durable component stored in memory that supports asynchronous communication between uh, between servers or services so let's say and we can take this as an example so it uh, uh, it serves uh, as a buffer and it distributes asynchronous requests um, and this is the basic architecture basically this is the basic architecture of message queue is uh, uh, it, it's, it's really simple like you have uh, input service we call a producer or publisher and and it create messages and we have a uh, consumer <coughs> and <coughs> sorry and publish the and publish them to the message queue um, and and we have other servers or servers which we called consumer or subscribers that connect to the message queue the and they are perform actions uh, when the message queue is filled with specific message so the coupling uh, makes the message queue preferred uh, a preferred architecture for building a scalable and reliable application with the message queue the producer can post a message to the queue when the consumer is unavailable it's important to know right now so let's say that if we don't have the message queue and right now the producer and the consumer they are connected with each other directly let's say that the the consumer is unavailable currently so when the producer try to send something and it's not it's and the consumer is not available physically this request is uh, is gone it will be failed and maybe if the if we have a maybe a network error or something however when you have a message queue we'll make sure that anything that being sent to the message queue the consumer will get it and will just make this task w if uh, uh, any way so if the consumer is not uh, is not available when the consumer become available it will continue to take all the tasks that are in the message queue so yeah so um so basically a message queue is a temporary storage and communication buffer where message are placed by sender and retrieved by receiver messages in a message queue can represent data requests commands or any form of information that needs to be exchanged between two different systems so but why what we get from this one before I say, before I, t I, I talk about, uh, I ha we have to talk about the, the, some component that we talk about, that we did talk about. So first we want to talk about the producer, which in the left side, and, uh, which is in the left side. And the producer, uh, the producer uh, or sender is responsible for creating and placing messages into the message queue the these messages contain information or instruction that need to be processed and we have the actual queue so um, the message queue acts as an intermediate storage holding messages until they are consumed by the uh, by the intended receiver 
messages are usually processed in uh, in in the order of uh, first in first out and lastly we have the consumer so uh, the receiver or the consumer uh, retrieve messages from the message queue and process them uh, consumers can be one or more components or services that uh, perform specific tasks based on the content of the message but let's say that okay we know what is the message queue but why do we need it why do we need this message queue what is the benefit that we got from it so first that i did talk about is the asynchronous communication so um, <coughs> sorry so a message queue enables asynchronous communication meaning that the sender and uh, receiver do not need to be active at the same time this allows components to work independently and not block each other while waiting for responses also it's a great in load balancing so how is that working so message queues help distribute workloads across multiple consumers or processing on units uh, this load balancing ensures that tasks are evenly distributed and processed efficiently also uh, we have decoupling so uh, message queues decouples producers from consumers meaning that they are not tightly coupled or dependent on each other's uh, uh, availability this architecture uh, decoupling enhances system uh, resilience and flexibility it's a great also at uh, uh, no sorry scalability so by allowing you to add more consumers as as needed message queues support systems scalability as workload increase you can scale horizontally by adding more consumers to process message in parallel um, it's a great at buffering so message queues act as buffer allowing allowing producers to continue sending messages at their own pace even if consumers are temporarily overwhelmed or unavailable it's great as well as with fault tolerance oh so message queue can be can be tried or redirected if a consumer or processing uh, component fails ensuring fault tolerance and reliable messages processing um it's quite it's a great in uh, durability and this will be the last but it's not seven it's not only seven things the message you it's good about but tons of different things but i'll just leave it at the number seven so um so some <coughs> sorry some messages queues some message queues offer durability meaning that messages are uh, persistently stored even if the system crashes or uh, is restarted this ensures no messages are lost um okay let's add the last one because the last one i guess is uh, this one also is quite important to talk about which is uh, it's a great at logging and monitoring so message queues often provide monitoring and logging capabilities allowing you to track the flow the flow of messages and troubleshoot issues so yeah that's it this is that's it the message queue this is what it is and how it works and why we need it and yeah that's it for my description for this video and i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so never miss a video and see you in future problem